Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, Yahweh being a true, almighty, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, and His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Bahashem, meaning in the name, Racha, meaning spirit, Kodash is holy. That, of course, what I uttered in the Paleo Hebrew, all right, in the Lashwan Kodash, all right which is the holy tongue, the pure tongue, all right? Of course, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who were well in peace and salutations to all sincere Achim that are out there, of course, risking their lives and their freedom to bring out this amath, all right, this truth, all right? And, of course, um, you know, wake up uh, the, the whole full elect that's out there. The Bacharium Yasha'ala, all right? Of course, uh... You know, I'm the brother of Mafa, Great Millstone, Plain Tables Camp. All right, located here in Babylon, which is America. Um, it being a year of prophecy, of course. Uh, we have the prophecy, which was written, of course, in Amos the 8th chapter in the 11th verse, which I shall, of course, uh, cover, which most brothers, of course, uh, should, of course, know it by now. But, of course, if any younger Achim that are not, all right, and no, they of course uh, shall be edified through this lesson. All right, which is going to be very short and to the point. All right, so here it reads here uh, off of uh, Reuters.com, and it reads U.S. net neutrality rules will expire on June 11, FCC. All right, which uh, the net neutrality, all right, deals with, of course, the internet. All right, uh, of course, the principle that the internet. Providers should enable access to all content. All right, that's what uh, net neutrality. All right, making it neutral. You can, of course, go to whatever website and access whatever content that, of course, you want. But of course, now with the net neutrality uh, being ended, it is of course going to uh, allow these ISPs, right, these different uh, internet service providers, to um, throttle to, to be able to. Um, block you from accessing different content okay which that of course goes in tune with you know uh the prophecy of course of uh you know the famine of the word right in which uh you know if you having a different different websites all right being that you have a, the youtube in which the word goes out here all right uh on the on the internet on the youtube all right course we out there on the highways and hedges but the lord of course is going to withdraw us from you know those uh you know places all right so you know right now of course it is a chief time to go of course and get this wisdom knowledge and understanding from the prophets of yahweh shimei shai before we are withdraw from the places in which we are of course publishing all right these video epistles and of course uh you know putting out the word out there on highways and hedges all right <laughs> All right, so anyway, this is, uh, uh, I'm going to read the article, slack here. So it says, uh, Washington Reuters landmark U.S. Uh, net neutrality rules will expire June the 11th, you know, which, uh, you know, we brothers, of course, I remember, you know, brother, uh, you know, in our camp, Zion, remember, you know, we speak on it, uh, pretty frequently about it because it's, uh, something that we, of course, are hastening in the day, looking forward to, of course, uh, you know this prophecy coming to pass you know um you know the internet being uh of course uh shut down completely but ultimately of course uh you know these jake out here to be able to uh, unable to access the, the, the understanding all right of the scriptures you know through the prophets you know and that's uh you know going to be very you know unfortunate to, to the demise of a lot of these israelites because you know they ain't gonna have any warning all right which uh <laughs> Um, you know, we are, are blowing the trumpet and of course are the watchmen of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And we are, you know, declaring what we see, right? So this Isaiah 21 and 6. Alright. And it reads Prepare the table, watch in the watchtower, eat, drink, arise, ye princes, and anoint the shield. For thus said Yahweh says the Lord said unto me, Go set a watchman let him declare what he seeth and it says uh 
and he saw a chariot with a couple horsemen and a chariot of asses and a chariot of camels and hearkened diligently with much heed and he cried a lion my lord I stand continually upon the watchtower in daytime and I am set in my ward whole nights all right which you know we of course are looking day in day out of the prophecies being you know the, the year of prophecy we are the ones that of course are linking up the prophecies all right in the scriptures okay with the current events okay and we of course are you know crying you know um you know blowing the trumpet all right and putting it out there you know but jake not listening two-thirds don't want to listen all right <laughs> you know that's why of course they're gonna be caught out here all right so anyway yeah like i remember um i believe it was like the april what the 23rd or something like that um you know i was like just looking forward to maybe it, it stopping then you know but you know they still of course have different um things that have to be passed through the pipeline of congress all right you know the, the whole checks and balances that they have you know so you know we just wait and really and wait what y'all bashamel shy you know does you know on his timeline so right now it says the, the rules will expire on the june 11th right and it says um it says in new regulations hand in providers broad new power over how customers can access the internet will take effect all right so you know um net neutrality rules will expire on the june 11th all right and then you know that of course will of course uh allow these isps to of course um you know do what they what they uh want to do all right what, what whatever packages all right if you want to access certain content you have to of course pay a premium for it you know that's gonna come into play all right it says the federal communication commission said on thursday and setting the date all right so the date is set up it says the fcdc in december repealed the obama era open internet rules set in 2015 which bars providers from blocking and slowing down so i believe that's throttling to content or changing customers more for a certain content all right our charging slot here charging you know you want to of course uh, access this well you have to pay this premium all right it says the prior rules were intended to ensure a free and open internet give customers equal access of web content and bar bar, bar broadband service provider from favoring their material their own material or others all right it says the new rules require internet service providers to tell customers whether they block or slow content offer paid fast lane or yeah so that's it all right it says Comcast Corp, Verizon, AT&T have all pledged to not block or discriminate against legal content after net neutrality rules expire. But that's BS. That's 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 uh, you know, that's not gonna be uh, something that's gonna be true. All right, they're lying. All right, because of course uh, you know they they of course will do what the elites all right of Esau, the so-called white man, all right, um, want them to do. Okay, S simple as that. Uh, it says uh, Rooker's first report, uh, June the 11th effective date. All right, disclosed in the FCC document on Thursday. All right, and you can read the rest of the um, the different uh, you know content or really the article if you want on your own. All right now, just covering the what what is important. All right, this is uh, Amos 8 and 11. It's the prophecy. All right, prophecy means to say before. At Amos 8 and 11 it says behold the days come it said Yahweh or says the Lord Yahweh that's the name of the most high his name is Yahweh when you go in the Hebrew it says that I will send a famine in the land not a famine of bread nor a, a, a thirst of water but the hearing of the words of Yahweh and that's a uh, famine of the word all right it says and they shall wander from sea to sea north even from east and they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the lord yahweh and shall not find it all right it says in that day shall fair virgins and young men faint for thirst you know so are you gonna have women men they're gonna they're gonna be thirsty you know for for this truth but they ain't gonna find it you know simple as that you know because it's gonna be too late for them you know of course uh 
if it's what's not just be disability at a time if you don't got it then i mean pretty much you're you're set for destruction all right and, uh, you know abarat zaya how about shimmy outside have chasad when you are mercy um you know to to of course uh allow you to meet a man of the lord while you know all hell break loose you know when it comes this time all right uh this is ezekiel the third chapter and i'm going to uh let me see slaki i gotta find the scripture yeah this is ezekiel uh uh, 3 and 24 it says then the spirit entered unto me and set me upon my feet and spake with me and said unto me go shut thyself within thine house but thou O son of man behold they shall put bands upon thee and shall bind thee with them and thou shalt not go out among them you know it's going to come a time when we of course are not going to be out there okay it says, and I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb. All right, which uh, to be dumb, it means, of course, uh, to not be able to speak. All right, you know, so we ain't going to be out there speaking the Internet. You know, you ain't going to be able to get the word. You know, brothers ain't going to be paying no fucking premiums to put out this truth. All right, we, we, we going to be look, judging these prophecies and knowing, you know, it's the time for this this prophecy to be fulfilled. All right, simple as that. All right, uh, to, to be dumb is I alam. All right, alam slaki alam, and it just means to be dumb. All right, you know, to be put to silence. Okay, as simple as that. All right, alam. Okay, it also says. Um, and thou shalt not be to them a reprover, all right, which we correct people, all right, for they are a rebellious house, all right. But when I speak with thee, I open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, He that heareth, let him hear. And he that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house. You know, he, you know, people don't want to hear, so be it. It is what it is. We did the work, all right. We have published it out, of course, on the internet. Uh, it said the uh, unicorn, all right. You know, and uh, it's that time, of course, when it's just come to an end. So you know, we'll see what happens uh, after June the 11th. All right, just so stay, of course. Uh, you know, uh, diligent and watch as well as pray and fast. All right. This is the time when you should, of course, do so. All right. And moving into important times, you know, some heavy times. All right. Times of heavy persecution. So brothers, of course, should, you know, um, make full proof of thy ministry doing this work as much as possible, you know, because the elect is being sealed. All right. And then the destruction is, of course, definitely going to come. Alright, with that, I'm going to say, call Halalim La Yahweh Bashem El Shai Bah Hashem Rachach Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace and salutation. Alright. Well, Chassad. Alright. Um, mercy to all. Uh, elect Akim. Alright. Shalom.